Swali langu au mahangaiko yangu likuwa tumefikaje tume hapa hapa sio Arusha How did we reach here not in Arusha I mean in the state we are in mahali tulipo sasa leo hali yetu kama nchi kama kanisa kama wa Kristo kama uh, mtu mmoja mmoja tume tulifikaje hapa na kitu gani kimetokea kwa kanisa chombo ambacho Kristo alituma waende ulimwenguni wakatubadilishe je badiliko lililotamkwa na Bwana limetokea hayo ndio ni mahangaiko kwamba nini imetokea kwa kanisa nilikuwa sasa kwa kuwa kule ni maeneo mengi uh, wajui wa kwa nilitoa ushuhuda kwamba safari ya here's life mahali tulipo haikuanza hapa tulianza na nilikuwa na washuhudia hata mimi niliwahi kuwa kijana kwa hiyo mkiita <laughs> wale mwe asaf mimi nilikuwa kijana tu kwa nilikuwa nashuhudia kwamba kuna vitu hata body haielewi bado wakati kabla here's life haijaja mimi nilikuwa mission director kwa diocese kwa hiyo nilihangaika na Diguna Kenya Diguna ni shirika la Kijerumani neno Diguna inamaanisha neno kwa hiyo walihusika na kuonyesha sinema na niliwaomba sana waje Arusha tushirikiane wakati ule na diocese kuonyesha sinema kwa sababu niliona nikiwa shuleni nikaona nguvu nyuma yake So I decided to invite Diguna to come from Kenya, Gong Hill. And Diguna refused twice. The first time they said no, we are already in partnership with the Lutheran Church in Tanzania. We cannot have another partnership. So I went back the second time to meet their top leaders. nikakutana na wale viongozi wao mara ya pili nikasema tena kilio hiki kile kile. Nikawaambia jamani hayumizi Waluteri na sisi ni kitu kile kile ni kanisa. Kwani tunaenda vijiji vingi, watu ni wengi hawajui Yesu. Kwa hakuna madhara, fanyeni kwao na kwetu. Wakasema urudi tutajadili. Niliporudi wakasema tumekubali, maana niliwaambia simtupe hata mwezi mmoja mfanya na sisi. Maana niliona ndio njia pekee ya kufikia watu haraka haraka. Kufanya ujiristi. And uh, then they said no we are going to discuss it we have heard you and when i went back the third time they said yes it has been agreed we will come for four months instead of three two and a half month for el city one and a half month for you for now but not this year next year kwa wale sema tumekubali tutakuja miezi minne tuje lakini miezi miwili na nusu el city Mwezi na nusu tutakupa wewe DMK. Nikafurahi sana. Lakini wakasema sio sasa mwakani. Mwaka 98 ndio waliniambia mwezi Juni. Niliporudi Arusha nikakutana na watu waliopotea ambao walikuwa hawajui chochote Arusha. Rafiki yao anaitwa Kadiolo alienda Nairobi kuzurura kidogo. Kwa waliobaki hawaelewi wakafika wakazunguka zunguka wakaja pale Christchurch wakamkuta mzee anaitwa Magara wakamuliza tutafanyaje sisi tumekuja tuna mkutano yule mzee akamwambia jamani huko Arusha mimi ni juu ni mtu mmoja tu atawasaidia mkimpata huyo kijana mtaona na ni kweli ni kijana si mnaona hata nini nikamwambia i know wakati huo mimi naingia getini akasema tena mtu mwenye yule that's how it started tukaenda St James Tulitembea sana tulienda mjini kati tukaenda Calvary tukaenda Pentecost wote wakatukata tukaenda St James wakatukubali the first conference 98 happened at St James na ndio mara ya kwanza waliponiomba nifanye nao nikasema no tayari mimi nafanya kazi siwezi kufanya wakasema wakasema siku ya pili ndio wakasema how about partnership na partnership nilikuwa naitafuta it has come home Dio nikamwambia oh that will be great i'm ready for partnership but i cannot work for you i have to work for what I'm, I'm, i'm i just came out of training i have to fulfill my duties and dues i was sponsored by the church 
have to serve it. Kwa hini lipo, uh, hii ndio historia nilikuwa nasema. Kwa hini tukaanza hapa, alafu sasa nimejikuta niko huku. Hii ni World Council of Churches met in Arusha. And on Sunday, they, uh, I think we had about over 70 came to Christchurch. And that was a Holy Communion service. Thank you.